foster care. I heard a lot about foster care. I've also you know, seen a lot about foster care system on Twitter in light uh, of the Alabama abortion ban passage. Um, saying, you know, that we need abortion because it's crueler to bring someone into a life of poverty. Um, that's pretty messed up when you think about it. Think about the people in your life, the people you know historically have achieved great things, but they've had to overcome adversity. You know, one person you think of is like our former president, Barack Obama, born to poverty, born to a single mother. I mean, like there's all of these people that we know of um, that were born into difficult circumstances, but it didn't negate their value. Uh, what I said last week about, you know, how your birth certificate, your birth certificate doesn't come with like special points um, where you get more points based on your parents' uh, income level, education level, their status, or, you know, if their candles were lit when you were conceived. Like you don't get special points in your birth certificate. We're all equally human beings. We all share one thing, and that's our humanity. And that's what makes us all equal to each other. Um, so, yeah, the foster care system thing comes up over and over again. Like somehow it's better to eliminate the sufferer than eliminate the suffering. And, and, and I've talked about this with cystic fibrosis over and over again. Like how is that better to abort children with cystic fibrosis, which CF has a 90% abortion rate, uh, same as about Down syndrome, sadly, um, because the mantra is, you know, just, just, just do away with them. You can always try again, but it's eliminating the sufferer rather than eliminating the suffering. And that's so messed up that, that our society has gotten to that point where suffering is considered a, is considered like a moral wrong. Suffering is not a moral wrong. Suffering isn't fun, but we all will suffer. And suffering isn't, isn't necessarily a bad or evil thing. Um, good things can come from suffering. Um, and, and the other thing about this whole foster care thing that really bugs me is like, I don't think people well, actually, I know people don't understand what foster care is because the goal of foster care isn't, um, isn't a place where you just drop off kids or unwanted. The goal of foster care is actually to re reunite kids with their biological parents, parents who may be going through a hard time, maybe struggling with an addiction and want to get clean. Parents are going through counseling. That's the goal of foster care. It's not that kids are supposed to get stuck in foster care and then get adopted out. It's actually to reunite them. Now that does happen. There are many kids that are in foster care and are waiting to be adopted. Uh, Focus on the Family a couple of years ago took on this whole effort. They're based in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and they went to churches throughout Colorado and said like, we need, we need to take care of these orphans. Uh, we need to adopt these chick kids waiting in foster care. I remember one statistic was saying that like single-handedly they know they're responsible for at least a 25% drop uh, in children in foster care waiting uh, for families and they just went to churches. So absolutely pro-lifers and, pro and it is pro-lifers who are who are becoming foster parents and who are adopting and are generously and and they're they're generously deciding to do this and sacrificing uh, for these children. Absolutely. Um, but even if I never became a foster parent, even if I never would be willing to become a foster parent or to adopt a child, it doesn't mean that my arguments against abortion are wrong. You know, it's the whole like, you can be a complete hypocrite and your argument can still be right. I can be preaching and lecturing against abortion and still going and having all these abortions in my spare time, but my argument's still correct, even though I'm living a hypocritical life. 